Uh, yeah, we've got a full red alert because every single one of these will ruin your hardwood floors and make them to where they cannot be recoded. And it's bad news. Stay away from them. I would also add anything that has the word polish or restore to that list. I want you to stick with this one hardwood floor cleaner and you can use whichever mop you like i'd stick with bona so we've got our equipment ready to go we've got the vacuum pretty straightforward we've got the mop we've got some rags to keep the floor dry we got the heavy duty mop and we got the bucket and my arch nemesis i don't need to bore you with a ton of tips on how to vacuum you obviously want to get the dirt off the floor before you start mopping but if your vacuum has the option to turn off the spinning head, I would recommend that you do that. It can scratch the floor. If it doesn't have the option, you should probably just sweep it instead. So now we're going to suit up for this filthy and toxic job. We got the gloves and we got the goggles. Nah, I was actually just kidding. That's completely unnecessary. I then proceeded to assemble this bonus spray mop in under three seconds. And that's how it works. You pull the trigger in the handle and push it back and forth. Pretty straightforward system. This mop is a pretty good way to clean your floor. Full disclosure, when I go to clean them, I'm generally just going to use water. So if you want to feel a little better, like you're getting some bacteria and whatnot, I would say definitely use this bonus solution, but you don't have to. Now, in the beginning of the video, I showed you a bunch of stuff not to use. So I'm going to elaborate just a little bit on that. So restores, polishes, most of the products sold in your big box stores are not just cleaners. They have finish elements in them, sometimes waxes, oils. They're more of a furniture polish than a cleaner. And if you know anything about getting your floor recoded, it needs to stick. And if you use these restores, these polishes, you will wind up in a catastrophe if you go to have a buffing coat done on your floor. And even if you're not planning to do that, the contaminants will go down into the cracks. And next time you have a refinish, you risk the finish turning white in the cracks and causing serious problems. So I really want to discourage you from using anything except for the Bona Cleaner from big box stores, or you can use water, or you can use another cleaner from the manufacturer that made the finish that's on your floor. I'll put an Amazon link to this Bona cleaning kit down in the description. If you have any food spilled on the floor or a really dirty entryway, you're going to need a more serious mop to clean that up. So we're going to fill this tub up with water and break out the heavy duty mop. I'm just using water. You could add some Bona cleaning solution to this if you'd like. It's a good idea, but you're not going to be able to get it out of your spray bottle. That cap does not come off. So you'll need a bulk bottle of it. I'll put a link to it in the description as well. So you don't have to break out this heavy duty mop. I'm just using it to get the bad stuff off the floor. So you can see we've got a little food spot here that didn't come up with the little Swiffer. So this is when I'm gonna actually break out that heavy duty mop. And I've picked this mop on purpose. This is no accident. And this is what I would recommend you use. It has a sponge head on it. It does not have Scotch-Brite on it, though. You don't want to use Scotch-Brite. That's an abrasive. It will scratch your floor. But this sponge head will not damage your floor, and it's got that ringer that gets almost all of the water out of it. You want to minimize the amount of water that sits on your floor. That is what ruins a floor. It will cause it to swell up, and the boards will buckle. So... As soon as I've got this little spot scrubbed off, I'm going to break out my dry rags and I'm going to actually buff off that excess water and try to get it as dry as I can. I do not want this floor to cup. So the entryway was pretty dirty as well. You can't see it, but the dirt has worked its way down into the soft grain of the floor. 
and we just needed a little extra scrubbing power to get it out of there. And we're gonna do the exact same process here. So I'm almost done, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the floor one more time. So I'm gonna peel off this Velcro microfiber head. I'm gonna rinse it out. I'm gonna get it as dry as I can. And I'm just gonna do a really quick pass over the rest of the floor to get any footprints or any other little debris out that's left. We are going to wait until the floor is completely dry before we put back any mats, rugs, etc. We do not want to trap moisture underneath. That will ruin the floor. It will cup, the finish will peel, it will be bad. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, you might also like the one in the top right hand corner of your screen and maybe consider subscribing.